Again, on behalf of the Little Rock School District and our administration, in particular Superintendent Michael Poor, it is indeed my pleasure to welcome you to the 2017 Stevens Scholars Reception. Would you please give a nice round of applause to our sponsors who are here this evening? You'll hear more about them formally in just a minute. Stevens representatives, would you please stand so we can show you some love? They are a back-to-back -back sponsor of this wonderful event. They know greatness when they see it, and they love to be associated with greatness, and we love to be associated with greatness as well. So thank you very much for your generosity. My name is Pamela Smith. I'm the Communications Director, and I have the pleasure of coming into your homes when you want me to or when you don't. <laughs> And often you will get phone calls from me uh, reminding you about important information related to the Little Rock School District. So uh, thank you for being patient and patient rather, and thank you for not hanging up on me. Because guess what? If you hang up, I can find that out too. We have a way of tracking those things. Uh, but I'm not Big Brother, uh, unless of course we really need to reach you and we have to uh, rely on our resources to do so. But it is a pleasure. This is one of our favorite events. We love when we have the opportunity to recognize outstanding students. And you'll get to hear more about these wonderful students' accomplishments in just a moment. But one of the things we will remind you of now in the event some of you may have to leave later is that this is just the beginning of many celebrations of these phenomenal students this year. So parents, get ready. Your calendars will be very, very busy and we will enjoy the ride along with you. We would like to invite you to continue to eat as much as you like until it is all gone. We'll be serving cake in just a few minutes, but right now we're going to have just uh, a few formalities just to introduce you to our wonderful students so you can hear more about their accomplishments. Right now, would you please help us welcome our superintendent who will do the honors of introducing our other guests, Superintendent Mike Poor, please give him a nice round of applause. I was going to give Pam a hug, but she's kind of on injured reserve right now, so we want to be careful with her tonight. Um, I want to first thank Pam, and I want to thank her team, Pam and Kyle and Jack, and, and they're around the room, as well as Ron, who's taking pictures. None of this happens without their efforts to get everything set up and decorated, and so we want to appreciate and thank them. Also want to thank um, our administrative team that's here tonight, and you know, it's kind of neat, this my second year being here, that, that we actually have more of our some of our central office team here to, to be a part of this, and, and I'm excited about that. Uh, Dr. Sadie Mitchell, who uh, had to start with many of your children in terms of uh, pre-K and elementary, and she's the one that leads that effort, Dr. Sadie Mitchell. <clears throat> From our HR team, Ms. Rhonda Benton, Mr. Eric Walker, who is our attorney. And then I also want to uh, introduce my right hand and deputy superintendent, Mr. Marvin Burton. He supervises all of our high schools, and, and we're very, very fortunate to have him. The, um, this doesn't happen in, uh, without a, a, an effort of the Stevens Group. And, and we went to them last year when I first arrived and said, would you be willing to, to step forward? And, and I don't want to steal Jack Trumper's words, but we have... Jack Trumper and, and Leanne Burnett here from the Stevens Group. And, you know, one of the things that, that they do for us, uh, especially some of you students that want to get into uh, finances and business management, and I just got done talking to a student that uh, had that interest, is that they, they end up finding a way for us to leverage resources to become even more efficient at what we're doing and creating uh, opportunities. And, and the job that they've done for our district in the last 12 months that's allowing us to move forward on the second high school, that's allowing us to refurbish um, all of our high schools, it's allowing us to move forward on athletic fields, improve uh, technology, shoot, just get better lights in, in some of our buildings, is coming because of, of their efforts. And so I want to have Mr. Trumper say just a few words today about Stephen's commitment to the district. Please welcome Jack Trumper. Uh, thank you, Mr. Poor. Uh, on behalf of Leanne Burnett and myself and Stevens, we thank you all for the opportunity to be a part of this. Uh, 
we hope we'll be able to do this for, for many years to come. And what we would say to you all is congratulations, because to be here at the Scholars Dinner is pretty incredible. And as a parent, uh, we know that we are never more proud of our children when you excel the way that you do. And you're about to complete your senior year. Hope you all have a great senior year and that the next chapter in your life is fun of a lot of fun and adventure. But we also hope that you'll come back too because Little Rock's a wonderful place to, to live and work and we sure hope you all come back. So our commitment to the Little Rock School District is, is, is very important to our firm. And uh, the finance, uh, uh, whoever's interested in finance, be aware that we have a, an analyst program that once you graduate from college, it is a very uh, successful and hard uh, analyst program that we interview 800 kids all across the country. I think we hire eight, but it's a great program. So if you're interested in that, please keep us in mind for that. So, Mr. Poor, thank you so much for letting us uh, be a part of this. And again, to all you, congratulations. And to the parents, congratulations as well. Thank you. I, I want to hold him right now while I've got his hand, and I want to tell him that if he gets one of you as his eight, we want a finder's fee uh, for a contribution to the district. So We can do that. Okay. Thank you. The, uh, the next thing is that we have two, uh, well, really a, a whole set of guests here that are very special to our community, and I think it, it says a lot that, that these folks came to this particular function to be with all of you and celebrate your accomplishments. The mayor and I have a, a really wonderful partnership that we work on on a regular basis. We meet on a month-to-month -month thing. Uh, he supports us with career development options and opportunities, and, and then just as a thinking partner. And I, I feel blessed to have him as a friend, but also uh, uh, really blessed to have him here this evening. I want to thank you. Mayor Stova. Thank you, Mike. A, uh, a new friend to the, the district because he arrived basically at the same time as I did, and he has his wife here and then his chief of staff. Um, our consulate from Mexico, uh, who is having a, a big print in this community, just recently, uh, probably about two weeks ago, we were at Chico Elementary, and he donated what I believe probably was about $10,000 worth of books that went home that advances bilingual education. Not advances it, but supports it so that our students and families can read together. Not only reading that is just fun reading, but also to do support that can help out on math and science and, and literacy. And so appreciate the consulate, his wife, and his chief of staff that are all here. If you'd all please stand. Thank you. This is a, a special night for the district. It's a special night. Uh, for our parents, and probably for you as students, you're probably like, yeah, the hors d'oeuvres were okay. Um, <laughs> but it should be a big deal for you because um, you have set yourself apart. If you think about it, basically um, in this room right now, we have approximately 50 students that are going to be recognized this evening. 50 students out of a total of about 1,800 students that will graduate this year. Parents, let that sink in a little bit and let your heart just kind of go pound, pound, pound because that says a lot about your family. It says a lot about your child, but I also think it says a lot about our district. Now, if I'm a parent, and some of you have heard me say this before, but if I'm a parent, I think you ought to talk to your kids about genetic makeup and say, you know, hey, <laughs> this is a lot about me too, you know, um, in terms of uh, what it represents. And, and certainly there is a part of that, but certainly also there's a part, and I, I ran into two of you as parents, and I bet there's a whole host of you. How many of you, if you'll raise your hand, have attended Little Rock School District since your elementary years? Raise your hand. So we've got probably maybe um, a good 15 to 20 people maybe out there that, that are a part of that. So uh, thank you for that, uh, that you've been a part of our system the whole time. I want to give you just couple quick bullet points before I turn this over to Ms. Rousseau. You know, Little Rock School District, besides what's happening here tonight, that is a source of pride, I want to give you a little bit bigger context. Do you realize that last year, Little Rock School District was one of 12 school districts in the entire state out of 250 that actually had improvement 
on their ACT Aspire scores across the board, third grade all the way up through 10th grade, one of 12 districts. Now, put that into context in the fact that last year we had to go through some pretty rough things. And really the district's gone through some challenges for the last four years. Think of cutting $43 million. Imagine that cut taking place at the city, or imagine it taking place at the university, or imagine it taking place at Intergy. You'd have a loss of services. You'd have some things that, that impacted employees and possibly morale, yet this district last year was one of 12 out of 250 districts that improved overall on its scores. Let me give one more stat that's even more important. Last year's graduating class, and I hope that you guys will maintain this great number, last year's ACT scores went up 0.4 in the uh, numbers for our overall total. So we went up 0.4, we moved up to an 18.6. The state dropped down 0.8. District went up 0.4, state went down 0.8, and statistically significant is 0.2. Now, I always turn this over to Mr. Burton. He'll just shout it out from over there. And just because we don't, we don't like to compete, but we will right now, okay? <laughs> Mr. Burton, would you mind sharing real quickly what the other districts had that are the Pulaski County Schools? And that's something that I, I'm very proud of with our staff and our students, and we thank you. Final thing, and, and I'll bring up Ms. Rousseau, is that it is, uh, we, we thank you. And I, I can say this for our principals and our counselors that are here today and our central office staff. We thank you for making Little Rock School District your home. Um, we thank you for having your students as a part of our schools, but we also thank you for partnering with us and, and helping create these achievements that have taken place. This is a, a great night. Seniors, congratulations. I know I've already bugged several of you to say, well, what is it that you're thinking about doing? Because I know that's the famous question uh, for everybody at this time of year. But you know what? I have a feeling that the talent in this room, no matter what you choose, you're going to end up being successful. And uh, certainly all the things that are happening tonight show that you're ready for that next level. I'm going to turn it over to Principal Nancy Rousseau of Central High School. would agree that there are a whole lot of people that come together to make the students who are being honored tonight what they are today. And one of the groups that often gets ignored, but to me is so essential, are our counselors. Principals, I think you would agree with me that our counselors are so important in this whole process of raising our children from 9th to 12th scholarship letters college letters, etc. So I'm going to begin with recognizing the counselors from Central because I know how hard they work and they make such a difference in the lives of these kids. Uh, Nancy, would you stand please and hold your applause, I'll announce all of them. Nancy Keys, um, Miss uh, Wanda Keith, Miss Pam Langston, Miss Yolanda McCallum, Miss Erica Moore, um, Ms. Williamson here, Ms. Brasfield, and this gentleman right here who is the head of our counseling program, and yes, I taught him in the ninth grade at Pulaski Heights Middle School in my gifted and talented class, and he got an A. <laughs> Very proud of him, too. Um, I want to give you some interesting information about our National Merit Semifinalists, which is one of the groups we're honoring tonight. Uh, approximately 1.6 million students in more than 22,000 high schools take the PSAT. This program began in 1956. 16,000 students nationwide are selected as National Merit Semifinalists, who are the highest scoring entrants in each state 
and represent less than 1% of each state's high school seniors. The National Merit Semifinalist is a special designation that stays with you your whole life. It's like being an Eagle Scout. Uh, my husband reminds me often since he was one and I was not. <laughs> Those uh, students designated as National Merit Semifinalists will now progress to the next step where they can qualify for a $2,500 scholarship. It's not a huge scholarship, but it's a prestigious one. At Central, we also had four commended scholars who missed the cutoff by two to four points, but who are being recognized as well for their excellent performance. And as a commended scholar, you will have scholarship opportunities as well. The National Hispanic Recognition Program was established in 1983. This program does not have the $2,500 scholarship attached. However, from my experience and from the past years, of students at Central who have had this distinction, uh, you certainly will be online to apply for and receive many college scholarships as well. Then we have the principal scholars that the guidance counselors and I personally selected in, in each school. Very special bunch of students who are very academically successful who are, like all of them, every one of them here, great school uh, citizens, and who will have many opportunities for scholarships as well, which parents, we all agree, <coughs> pretty important, the scholarships. I think we should congratulate all our teachers in grades 9 through 12 who work with our students to improve their reading comprehension, their vocabulary, and problem-solving skills. All of those are the top um, aspects of, of academic success. And the students who are being honored today in all these schools challenge themselves every single day with upper level classes and they are all in the 20% of their graduating class or higher. Um, as Pam Smith mentioned, there will be an, uh, additional celebrations for all of them and we are so proud. I know the city board has a presentation for the National Merit Semifinalist Commended Scholars, um, National Hispanic Scholars, um, sometime in the late, late year or early spring, and it's always a lot of fun. And then they have to stand in front of the camera at the city board meeting and tell their name and where they go to high school, et cetera. It makes them nervous. Um, these designations are especially significant to me because early in my years as principal, I was asked to serve on the National Merit Foundation Advisory Board with uh, there are only 15 principals nationwide who have this distinction every three years. And as part of this honor, I got to travel to Chicago and actually review and help those students who are then selected as the National Merit Finalists. It's very competitive, um, but I have confidence that the students in our district who are National Merit Me finalists will all proceed to the top level. So we're, we're very excited about that. And without further ado, I would like to uh, recognize Central High School's National Merit Me finalists, commended scholars, National Hispanic scholar, and our principal scholars. Beginning with um, Robert Bierbaum, who is at Student Congress, but I think his mom is here. Right, okay. Congratulations. Thank you. These, these are our National Merit Semifinalists. He was hoping he'd get here, but I guess he didn't. Okay, uh, Anil Cheka. Really good tennis player also. <laughs> Rafael Estrella. <laughs> and I have to brag about this young man because he also happens to be our National Hispanic 
um, a scholar also. So he's doubly distinctive. Logan Jennings. Jua Jung. Naveed Kimani. Paige Rayborn. Finalist is Namesh Ouija Wardene. Okay, Central has four commended scholars. We begin with Paige Odin. John Ricard, who is not here, but Mom is. Thank you, Mom, for coming. <laughs> Amy Sheck Snyder. <laughs> and Sahara Tariq. And I already mentioned that um, our Rafael Estrella was also of uh, our national Hispanic. Oh, yeah, come back. They have another one for you. Another one. All right, come on. You have two suitable for framing. Now for our principal scholars, let's begin with Ryan Ayuchi. <laughs> Mackenzie Tucker. Vasquez. Yeah. 
Sierra Wetzel. And last but certainly not least, our very own Chauncey Williams Wesley. Being a politician, you just <laughs> <laughs> right? or a superintendent. Or a superintendent. <laughs> Same thing, though, right? <laughs> or a principal. <laughs> anyway, we're very proud of our students at Central um, and, and parents. Could we have the parents from Central who are here please stand up so we can recognize all of you? Yeah. Thank you, because we know that you are. The, you are the power behind the kids, so thank you. Okay. Ms. Smith, are we going in alphabetical order? Or? Okay. Next, I'd like to have uh, Dr. Boone please join us, uh, who will be announcing J.A. Fair recipients. Dr. Boone? Thank you very much. I too would like to thank the um, parents for coming out tonight. I would like to thank our staff and also our counseling department. And it gives me great honor to um, recognize these students tonight. I actually met them three years ago as I served as their 10th grade administrator and now it's time to recognize them for their academic excellence. Um, these are our principal scholars. Our first student, Jasmine Bland. Mr. Keith Bradford. <laughs> Amaya Hutchinson. Miss Destiny Perry. <laughs> and Miss Ricole Warren. <laughs> Again, in the absence of Mr. Anthony and in the presence of our head counselor, Ms. Renita Wells, Jay Fair thanks you and thank you parents. <laughs> our next set of awards, I believe, is with Hall High School and Dr. Mark Roberts. Thank you, Mr. Poor. I want to congratulate all the students that are here this evening. Just so you know, you're in your 0.27%. I did the math when Mr. Poor had said how exceptional you are and exclusive that you are to be in this group. I also want to say congratulations to the parents. I echo all of the comments that Ms. Rousseau had said earlier. And I feel very, very fortunate to be here with you tonight. 
Our five uh, sc uh, principal scholars, I'm very excited uh, to announce this evening. First, we have Alasia Kelly. Would you please come up, Alasia? <laughs> Alasia is also one of our basketball players. We were not sure if she's going to be able to make it tonight because she had basketball practice. Next uh, student, Zaria Baker. Zaria, please come up. <laughs> Zaria is also a basketball player. We were not sure if she was going to make it either. You know how coaches are. Thank you, Zaria. Next is Arnold Smith. Arnold was our 2017 DAR Good Citizen Award winner. Congratulations. Next is Antonio Valdivia. Tony was an English language learner who excels in AP classes. And our final student is Sarah Alwan. Sarah, please. Sarah has done an excellent job academically since moving here from Palestine four years ago. Thank you. Okay, congratulations. I want to say thank you again to all of you, and I am. Every day I go to Hall High School, it's these types of students that make me go every day and just, just keep uh, visiting those classrooms and watching these students excel. Thank you so much. Thank you to all. I'd next ask Ms. Nowden from McClellan High School to join us and present the awards for the Lions. Um, let me just put a plug in just really quickly and say, go Crimson Lions. We are in the playoffs. Friday night, we make it to the third level. We're playing against Alma. So if y'all want to come out and support a Little Rock school, please come on. Um, I want to be intentionally repetitive. Uh, I agree with Ms. Rousseau. It is so important. The parents, you're the foundational piece. Uh, you're the, the wind beneath their wings, and so I, I honor our parents tonight. So right here at my, my table is here. Thank y'all parents. We, we couldn't do it without you. We're a community. We're a community school, and we're a community. We're a team. So thank you all very much. Um, I have with me Ms. Jacqueline O'Connor. She is a head counselor at McClellan, and I am uh, the interim principal right now. And so I want to um, just welcome our uh, five uh, principal scholars here. Our first is Miss Kashela Banks. She's not here? Okay. We'll, we'll take it for her. Thank you. And next we have Miss Robin Gunn. Next, we have Ms. Zaire Love. Yeah. 
And next, Georgina Tucker. And last but not least, Kelly Jurgen. And to the yeah, students, it's not easy Kelly. being the top percent of anything. So they, they face multiple challenges, and they do a really wonderful job, and they, they have to work and do other things. So that, that's wonderful. And I just want to thank you all for welcoming me here. Y'all have a great evening. To round off our celebration, we have uh, another new principal to our district, Mr. Randy Rutherford from Parkview Arts and Science Magnet. My trusty assistant tonight is not one of my counselors. It's actually our senior class president, Jayla Jefferson. And I appreciate her help. At Parkview, we are very proud to announce that we have one of our two National Merit Semifinalists here tonight with us, Jack Burge. Come on forward. Apologize, you snuck in on me. We have our second National Merit Semifinalist with us tonight. This is Alex Walter. And now we will move to our principal scholars at Parkview. First, we have Bolana Barnes. <laughs> Next, Katie Cullen. Juan Galicia. <laughs> Zachary Hall. And my trusty assistant, <laughs> Jayla Jefferson. <laughs> and at Parkview, we, uh, we want to thank our staff, obviously, for working with these young gentlemen and, and ladies. We're very proud of them. Uh, they have proven, obviously, that they are very talented. I might add, obviously, we are also a magnet school, and the thing that amazes me the most at Parkview is not only are they great students, but you ought to see them perform. You ought to see the things that they can do. It's amazing. It truly is. Thank you all. As we uh, kind of finish off our evening, first off, I, I would like to again thank Pam. Uh, and her team for all of the extras that they've done to make this a, such a special event for, for each of us. I'd also like to thank the Stevens Group again for their uh, support of, of this event. Uh, this is kind of above and beyond something that uh, is new, the second year that they've stepped forward to help recognize excellence, and we thank them for that. And then I'd like to thank our special guest, 
um, for being here. Thank you, Consulate Mayor, Consulate's wife, Consulate's Chief of Staff. We appreciate very much uh, that everyone is uh, here to help celebrate with you. Parents, congratulations. Uh, students, thank you for, uh, it, it's inspiring, you know, to see uh, what you've already accomplished. And, and then even to think, what's more inspiring to me is thinking about what lies ahead. If you think about our world, don't you just want to turn it over to these young people fast? Because I, I see talent, I see compassion, and I see genuine smiles that can always lighten up a room and make something a better place. Thank you for making Little Rock School District your home. Congratulations to each one of you this evening. Uh, it has been an honor to be here with you this evening. Ms. Smith, anything to wrap up? Uh, just a couple of housekeeping notes. Hey, I've been checking social media and I don't see any post on there. <laughs> so, I'm going to check again. Now some of you young people are probably on Snapchat, I get that. But some of us old folks are on Facebook and we want to see you on Facebook, all right, and Twitter. So again, thank you once again for being here. The hashtag is what? LRSD Scholars. You're close. You're very close. Okay, uh, we invite you to continue to enjoy the remaining food that's here, and we are serving cake. We hope to make the rounds to all of you. And again, thank you for being here. Be sure you stay in touch with Little Rock School District via our Facebook page, website, and Twitter, where we will always try to keep you abreast of the exciting things that are happening. Thank you once again, Superintendent Four. Please have a wonderful rest of your evening, and thank you again for making Little Rock your home. Uh, have a great night and a good rest of the year, students.